It's been more of the same really. Um, to get the performance out of the power unit, you need to chase efficiency, uh, combustion efficiency, and then all the energy transport steps. So um, turbo efficiency, MGUH efficiency, power electronics, batteries, MGUK efficiency, every single piece. Um, we work on just to improve the performance out the back of the crankshaft and also working to make sure that we don't have any of the problems that we had last year with durability. So, uh, so really getting down to the root cause of issues and making sure that across our whole process everything's robust. The current power units are amazing bits of equipment, um, greater than 45% thermal efficiency, whereas the old naturally aspirated V8s were just at 29% um, and now giving out over 900 horsepower. Um, from an engine with just 100 kilograms an hour of fuel going into it. Um, the last time we had over 900 horsepower was 2005 when we had 194 kilograms. So half the fuel rate, the same amount of power, incredible technology. Thirty two tokens is um, is quite a lot. Um, we haven't had to restrict any of our development activity. It's been a case of anything that yields a decent efficiency improvement, so a decent um, car performance improvement. We've worked on it and now we're working to make sure that it's durable in time for Melbourne. The increased power unit allocation from four to five on the face of it would seem to give us an advantage where each power unit doesn't need to do as many races. Um, but the way we're approaching it is that we will plan to use just four, um, five per power unit, five races per power unit. And hopefully that will allow us to react if we have a reliability issue or potentially use it as a performance update during one race. The upgrade that we did in Monza last year um, took a huge amount of effort out of the factory and we only had enough resource to supply um, the works team. Um, but that's now paying off because what we've managed to do is build on top of that through the autumn and winter period. And now what all the customers are getting is exactly the same as the works team. So all eight cars will get exactly the same hardware, exactly the same performance come Melbourne. And that's a nice step for them. Our mid-season update had a very big, sizable um, Petronas fuel improvement. And then later on in last year, we introduced a new lubricant. Um, we've managed to build on those in the way we've designed the combustion system and also enhanced the lubricant's properties to make sure that the friction in the engine is reduced. We've been conscious since the start of 2014 that the noise of the new power unit, because of the turbocharger and trying to recycle that waste energy in the exhaust, um, has diminished the sound in the grandstand. Uh, the FIA did a very nice piece of work to analyse the noise in the tailpipe and see what could be done to improve the noise but without impacting the performance. And what they spotted was that the waste gate, which is open sometimes, is connected into the tailpipe um, and when the wastegate's not open, it's, it's a dead end. It's, um, it's a side branch resonator or silencer on the main tailpipe. So that's been removed so that the, tail, the, the tailpipe is a nice clean pipe um, without si any silencing impacts. And that should improve the noise of the power units. Manor Racing, a new customer for us this year, um, a good team. Um, a small team, but taking it very pragmatically, um, been working very closely with them. We've got a very detailed um, integration manual um, and instructions on how to fit the power unit, what to do, what not to do. And they've been a great team to work with and we're looking forward to see how winter testing and then the first race goes.